happened. These two really weird guys show up, right? They they decided they were going to worship Satan. They were going to kill themselves all on account of that stupid coffee song at the beginning. Are you it serious? It wasn't even played that well. Yeah. Hmm. But the cool thing is, I talked to Madhavan. I sat him down, gave him a cup of decaf, and said, fellas, relax. Life's better than that. And they said, whoa, thanks. And Craig was one guy's name and his pal Weaver or something like that. They were pretty freaky. But uh, I, think I think I turned them around. And I got to feel good about that. You know? So you Sometimes saved some you, lives. What's so bad about feeling good? Exactly. That's my question exactly. to you. Sir. Or the Jolly Toy Maker. Yeah, so I basically saved their lives. Yeah. That's great. And you know, yeah. there's a word for when you intercede. What's that uh, word for like? Boy Scoutly? Yeah, it's better than a good deed, though. It's a, like almost canonization. I feel I'm up for that. that saintly? Would, saintly would be a good one. That's wild. How'd you do that? I just kind of looked skyward and held my hands like this. And... Oh. Me out, man. That's scary. You want to hear the flaming man story? No. Oh, that's for another time. Be not afraid, Steve, for I say unto you that the power that I hold will only be used for good and not evil. Be that's not afraid. Reassuring. I can see it now. Can't you? Gruber. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to a new day. My name is Deacon Gruber. Maybe not. Maybe you're sitting there saying, I'm not happy to be here. I am troubled by my many daily worries and cares. Does that sound like you? Well, let me tell you a little story. It's about a man who we'll call Bill. Bill was pretty short to start with. He got even shorter when his legs were blown off in a freak chair explosion. Did he care? No. He'd just say, it ain't like I want to be no toe dancer. And he'd laugh, wheeling himself down the middle of the street on his little green cart, whistling a happy tune, never minding the honk honk of motorists less happy than he nor the fact that he was wearing his fingers down to little stumps by using his hands for brakes. Did he cry when he finally noticed he didn't have any fingers? It ain't like I want to be no piano player, he laughed. And he cheerfully rolled into the intersection where a red 65 Ford Falcon struck him and sent him, still sitting on his little green cart, spinning into the curb and zip right down the storm drain. Four days later, Bill turned up in the estuary. Rats had nibbled away his lips, most of his nose. Seagulls had pecked out his eyes. But was Bill upset? Well, actually, yes, he was. He was a little bent out of shape, but mostly about losing his little green cart. And that's why I bought him a jaunty Panama hat. Just the thing for him while he crawls along life's highways and byways. What's the lesson? Well, there are two. Though Bill kept getting smaller on the outside, he was actually big on the inside. And the other lesson is that I, Gruber, was a really nice guy for buying Bill that hat. Nice? Hey, I'm a saint. I'm Deacon Gruber, and this is a new day. Can't you see it? My own TV show in the mornings? Saintly Deacon Gruber. That's hey. what I would call myself. The Saintly Deacon Gruber. Hold it. That's how you did it. <clears throat> you fake. Oh, I did what? The saintly music with a tape recorder. It's really easy to be a saint with a tape recorder, isn't it, pal? Oh, you're mm -hmm. sickening me. Especially after that inspirational story about the guy with the cart. You this make a me true sick. story. No. All right, you busted me. Oh, you just show a clip, Dave, so I don't have to look at him. Well, I got God, a hey, clip here from Onion Head. Can't you? No, don't can't even you? touch me. Well, we can take a look at it. It's going to take a little while to load it. I think I'm going to get physically ill. Steve, relax. I think I might get physically ill. And your head's going to be on you, and, and, and Andy Griffith's in it. Well, clean up the mess. Yes, sir. Andy 
Andy Griffith. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. Well, we're back. Groob's a religious fraud, and Steve won't look at it because the sight, fraud. very sight of Groob. Uh, what was the word you, Steve, used? Uh, discuss. Yeah, the very the sight, sight of, of discuss, Steve. Of, of Groob. Did you say I something, Dave? Had some fun. Did, you, did I hear something? Did you say something? Yeah. There's I did. me, and there's you, and there's a full bag of garbage right here. I didn't know garbage could talk. Did you know that? I didn't know garbage could talk. 